Hello and welcome to another Blue Rabbit World Tour. And in this World Tour, we're going to be taking a look at this big fella. Uh, I know I have done this before, some of you have seen this guy before, but I have better sound quality and I have better video quality now. So I'm going to be redoing about five um, of my better World Tours. And this big guy is the first one. This is the Living Village number one. There are two Living Villages. This is the first one. Um, his body and his face and hands and everything aren't as good as the second one, but the buildings are better. So they both have their, uh, their good points. In fact, they, they both have all good points. But, you know, one is better than the other, depending on which way you look at it. So let's first fly into this big guy's mouth. Let's do that. That seems to make sense. First things first, um, we're in. Okay, so we have a house in here. It's very cool looking from inside. It just looks like a normal kind of craggly cave. I really like it. It's very cool. We're going to uh, turn flying off, I think, and have a hop around here as if it would be a normal survival world. It's, oh, it's daisy. It's always nice. So let's have a take a little, little quick look at this house. Uh, I'm going to make this video reasonably short, I hope. It might not be. Let's see, though. There's a cute little house. A little carrot farm. In here, lovely, lovely carrot farm. Everybody likes some carrots, apart from people who don't. Very simple, but um, also very well detailed interior. Now, this, uh, probably should say, this build is pretty much 99% built by myself. I had a very, very small amount of help by Cognitive Foo. Very, very small amount of help. Thanks, Cog, for that. Uh, you probably don't even, he probably doesn't even remember doing it. It was literally like a, like a 10 minute kind of uh, help thing. This is cool. It's a very nice little place in here. It's lovely. It's got a red door. Don't know why I said that. Right, so we got a path going up into the back of this big guy's mouth. We're going to head up, see what there is. So we got another house here. Now this one, I'm going to spread back a bit. This one is actually my favourite of the houses. It's very nice. It's really piled up. Um, it's very, very non-linear. I do like a good non-linear build. And this one really, really takes the biscuit. It's a biscuit taker. Mm. Probably, probably digestives of the chocolate variety. Uh, again, very nice. Simple interior, but plenty detail. Plenty, plenty detail. Little, little fireplace here, little chimney area. It's quite nice. And up here, we have, of course, a bedroom with the chimney extends up into the ceiling. Now we have some beds, because that's what we need in a bedroom. There's some books and plant. This plant has been neglected. Whoever lives here should not own plants, clearly. Oh, we have a tiny little balcony. Just a tiny, super, super tiny little balcony. Like, you can barely close the doors behind you. It's, 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 uh, it's cute. A lovely view of a half-finished build down there, which will probably never be finished. This map is actually uh, pretty much a retired map. I don't think I'll be building on it again. Uh, it really was just to build this one build, um, which is a bit of a waste of a map, but sometimes that is just how the cookie grumbles. Mmm, now I need a cookie. Okay, so we got a tower here. Quite a nice tower. Nothing, nothing too fancy. This tower. Um, it went up very, very quickly, but I like it. Uh, I'm not saying it's rubbish. I'm just saying it's a little, little basic, little basic, super, super uh, messy staircase. Very much like that. We're not going to climb up there. So we'll be here all day trying to climb up that thing. It's like I say, it's quite messy. And if we go up, we got a balcony here. It's quite nice. And then of course the very top. We've got a nice little torch light. I will be showing this build before the end of the episode. I will be showing um, it at night time, so it does glow quite nice at night. We've got another little pocket house here. Another little pocket house. Another pocket house. Very cool. I think, if I remember right, there's something cool up here. Or is there just a little bedroom here with a cake? Mmm, cake. The night snacks. We like that. I'm getting really hungry. I'm talking about food a lot. And sweet things are everywhere in this build, apparently. Um, and it's making me feel. Very, very hungry. Um, but it's okay. I'll have some cereal after this build because it is actually quite early in the morning. I haven't had my breakfast yet. But I thought I'd, uh, I'd do this for you guys first. Aren't I nice? Yes, I am. So that's basically the back of it. Looks pretty good. We can go all the way down. We've got our legs. It's very, very nice. I like it a lot. It's like, uh, there's nothing I can really say about this build <laughs> that is a negative. I, I just love it. It's one of my favourite builds. I don't say that a lot about about a lot of my builds, but um, like I said, the next four to five world tours are going to be the real the real stunners from the past year or so, the real amazing ones. We have another house here, as you can see. 
Um, this is a pretty cool one. It's got an open, kind of open uh, upstairs. It's a little bit, a little bit Mediterranean feel. So we go downstairs, just normal, kind of cool, little comfortable, cozy house. And then we go upstairs, and like I say, it's got a little kind of open balcony. Uh, there's no window here. Open balcony, straight into the bedroom. Like I said, quite a Mediterranean kind of, uh, really, like the kind of place you might have in a very warm country where it never rains and it's never cold. Um, you might have a mosquito net over the bed, but unfortunately, Mojang and 4J have yet to add mos mosquito nets to the game. And I don't think they ever will. I don't know why, I just, I just don't see it coming. So that's all the houses, really. So it's, like, what is, uh, so it's um, three houses, sorry, four houses, including the one in the mouth and one tower. Not a lot of houses, but each one is very unique and very cool. Now, when I, when I go to do the... Uh, Living Village Mark 2, you'll see the houses on that are a lot more simple. Still very, very pretty, but a lot more simple, but the big guy himself is a lot more complicated. So, uh, a few more little quick things I want to say. Eyes, pretty cool. Quite well shaded. Yes, I like it. I like the nose as well. It looks a little bit like he's wearing kind of steampunk s goggles, which I have no objections to at all. I love the mouth. Very, very cool. Craggly rock teeth. Very smart. We like it a lot. Um, and of course the hands, which uh, Haley pointed out, makes him look like he's tickling someone, and which made us give him the name, the Tickle Monster. So there he is, folks, the Tickle Monster. He is a beauty, I hope you will agree, I certainly do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. So, whoop, where are we going? There we go. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little world tour. Like I say, it's going to be uh, over the next week or two, maybe three weeks, it's going to be five or so other older world tours. Just redoing them because, uh, you know, the channel's more professional. Some of these builds really do deserve the best quality in video and sound that I could possibly do. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, let's, let's, uh, let's ruin the outro completely, shall we? Anyway, thank you for joining me on this adventure, and I really do hope that you join me for the next one. Bye.